All right, there was, this is a story about the fourth Rebbe of Chabad called Rebbe Shmuel. <clears throat> he lived in the city of Lubavitch. He had a lot of Hasidim. <clears throat> now, one of these Hasidim didn't have any children. So um, she sent her husband regularly. Her husband was a Hasid and he went to the Rebbe to ask for children. But every time he would get there, he would. He was so awed by the Rebbe, and it took him by such surprise that he he forgot to ask, or he was too ashamed to ask. In any case, he didn't ask, and so on went on year after year. And he went, didn't ask. He came back. His wife was very disappointed. One year, <clears throat> by the Hasidim, by they made a big for bringing a big Hasidic get together. I'm not sure, didn't say in the story what was the cause of it, but let's say it was Yutet Kislev, one of the Hasidic holidays. And they made this for bringing. Let's say there were 20, 30 of them. And the Hasidim, when they get together, they would drink. They would drink vodka and they would <clears throat> say words of Torah and sing. Anyways, it came to like two in the morning and the the vodka finished. They didn't have any more vodka. Someone went outside to buy, and there was everything was closed. And so the wife of the house owner, where they were making the verbringa, that was the lady that she didn't give birth. She was the one that didn't give birth. She, she said, I have bottles of vodka. And I'll give it to you only if you bless me that I should have a child. And so the Hasidim immediately, you know, usually the Hasidim would say, who are we to give blessings? You know, if you want to, we'll bless, but what's our blessing worth? No, they really wanted that vodka. They wanted to continue to bring it. And so one stood up and he very, you know, pompously or whatever it is, religiously closed his eyes and started shaking and said, I predict and I bless you that you will have next year, you will have a son. Everyone said, oh, man. Then another one said, what about you? So everybody stood up and they all gave these really sincere blessings like they were rebbies. Like they were rebbies. And <clears throat> Sure enough, the next year, the, uh, the Hasid went into the Rebbe with the child. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I left one little detail. In the end, the Hasid did go into the Rebbe and he did ask him for children. I'm sorry, he did ask him for children. In the beginning, he was ashamed and his wife shamed him. So he would go in and ask for children and the Rebbe would always avoid the question. He wouldn't answer. We give him blessings for all sorts of other things and he wouldn't answer. That's the way the story is, right? I mixed it up with another story. <clears throat> okay, so then they made the forbringen and they all blessed this child. They blessed the wife. And sure enough, she gave birth to a child. And so he took the child and he brought it to the Rebbe. And the Rebbe said, what's this? And he said, this is the child. <clears throat> Obviously, and the Rebbe said, listen, the reason I didn't bless you, he said, where did it come from? He says, the Hasidim made a blessing. The Hasidim all blessed me. And that's where it came from. So the Rebbe said, I saw in heaven that if you had a child, that it would be bad for you and your wife. It would be a tragedy for all of you. <clears throat> I don't know, you wouldn't live out the year, whatever it was. <clears throat> And that's what I saw in heaven. But the Hasidim, they don't know what's going on in heaven. They don't know what's going on in heaven. And it says, Shomer Petayim Hashem, that God protects the simple-minded. So it came out that the blessing of the Hasidim was greater and higher than the blessing of the Rebbe. That they were able to do something that the Rebbe himself could not do. <clears throat> that's why it says that the blessing of Hasidim, there's a similar story by the by the altar Rebbe, by other Rebbe's also, it says that what a Hasidic from bringing can do, even the angel Mikhail, that that's the patron angel of the Jewish people that brings all the healing, etc. <laughs> even the patron angel of 
Mochoyal cannot do. That's why it's important to be in a Hasidic gathering. Have a good day with Mashiach now. God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow, 8.15.